Now you justify that the really a top team should be ahead of the change. What do you think in your payroll model? What is the most crucial thing if you choose only one thing to focus on in developing the team? That's an easy answer. It's got to be the learning orientation of the team. Yeah, if the team isn't learning, it's failing. And if it's not failing now, it's failing in the future. So, so what we're really what we're, what we're finding is that really good teams have a balance between focus on performance and focus on building capacity and capability for the future. Um, you can perform for a certain period without uh, building capability, but if you don't build capability as well, you're you're eventually going to fail. How we evaluate that? There's all sorts of signs that we might look for. Uh-huh. One of them I, I, I would describe as curiosity. Yeah. How curious is this team about what's going on inside it and around it? Do we actually review the principles by which we operate that shows that the team is really open, aware as things change? Um, I was given a, a figure the other day um, that uh, made me really think. In the United States, there are 1.7 million Teamsters. That's people who drive long distance trucks. Yeah, And that's always been a very stable job. And now somebody's, somebody's pointed out that within three to five years, all of that, all of those jobs could disappear and, be, and, and, and those could be passed over to, to, to automatic uh, driving, to a, an artificial intelligence. Um, you know, but who's been asking the question of these guys, helping them think out, well, what do I do next? Um, and, 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 and I think most teams um, don't, ha- don't take the time to really think about that. Supposing everything, everything was turned upside down, how would we survive? What would happen?